Hello everyone, welcome to the third part of my uh, Mega Engine tutorial. In this part we'll, we will be covering gimmicks, more specifically the Phonic platform in Bubble Man stage from Mega Man 2. So first, as expected, let's add the sprite. Got sprite Bubble platform. And this is it. So when you stand on it for too long, it will just fall. And that's basically what the gimmick, gimmick is. Pretty simple, but it works. <laughs> so um, first, uh, we should see if it is a moving platform. Uh, there are specific uh, things that can uh, make it work easier if you're using a uh, moving platform. In the original Mega Man 2 it was not really a moving platform since when it dropped you just sort of uh, jumped off you didn't go along with the platform but let's just do it here for convenience sake I mean it was pretty cheap to just drop Mega Man as soon as it fell so that you didn't have a chance to still jump. So uh, l let's just uh, make it a moving platform. Say object bubble platform uh, the sprite is of course this one and as for the parent you can go to level objects gimmicks parents and part gimmick uh, that's the parent for non-moving platforms uh, but still gimmicks and there are two kinds of moving platforms the one that they jump through that you can jump through from the bottom and it doesn't have any wall or ceiling collision and moving platform solid is just entirely solid which is the case here so let's parent it to that one and um, yeah let's get to the create event the create event always use event inherited for gimmicks now you probably also want respawn equals true say since well this platform should respawn when it goes off screen and then it goes on screen again and that's pretty much it for this moving platform uh, for the create event at least uh, as for the step event so, uh, if global is frozen equals false most of you will probably remember this from the enemy part if you haven't checked out that part please do so before going on with this one but Whatever is in between these brackets will execute when the screen is not frozen and whatever is in between the brackets after else uh, will execute when the screen is frozen. And by that I mean for example when pausing or when collecting a health uh, pick up the screen will also freeze moment uh, yeah the screen will also freeze temporarily for uh, yeah, just increasing the player's health. So uh, as for Globe.frozen equals false, just the normal code. Um, we're going to do the following. If place meeting x y minus one object Mega Man. This checks if Mega Man is above us, and object Mega Man that, that ground equals true if it is on the ground. We don't want to check Mega Man if it's in the air. However, uh, this may give you an error when object Mega Man does not exist. For example, when uh, you know, when we are dying, object Mega Man gets destroyed, and then they uh, this object does not know what object Mega Man that ground is. So we need to check first if object Mega Man exists, like so. To avoid errors. So when Mega Man is above us and uh, it's standing on the ground, we can say that uh, dropping equals true. So let's add to the create event dropping equals false. And if dropping equals true, drop timer plus equals one. Drop timer should also be in the create event to initialize it. If drop timer is greater or equal to 
let's say, I think 50 should work. Then we want to drop it. Falling equals true and dropping equals false. So if falling equals true, we'll also add falling to the great events equals false. Oh, this should be drop time equals zero. There we go. And uh, yeah, as for falling, this is just the falling itself. So say y speed plus equals. Uh, let's say y speed equals four or five. There we go. As for uh, the else part, there is not really anything that we want to do specifically when we are frozen. We just don't want to execute this. So actually this isn't necessary. But if you do have something, for example, if uh, the object is animated, then you want to put image speed equals something right here, for example, then you want to put image speed equals zero right here because otherwise uh, it will still animate when uh, the screen is frozen so you don't want that so but we can remove it for now because there's nothing to add there and also above globe but it's frozen equals false and again event inherited all right now let's put our new gimmick in the level let's just remove uh, part of this for convenience sake I'm not going to bother with making the tiles pretty or anything let's put one right here and right there good so now let's see if it actually works And I see what's happening. Uh, I forgot uh, when the when the object is going off the screen, it respawns, which we set here. But that's actually not the case for this object. So let's say respawn equals false, because if it goes off the screen, we uh, yeah do not want it to respawn, because as you could see, it looks pretty weird. So no respawning for this object. And as you can see, it drops. And it pulls us down as well. Now, one thing I'm not sure about, which we are going to see right here. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Um, actually, the solution I just proposed with respawn equals uh, false. Let's not do that. Let's just say uh, respawn equals true. Because if it is off the screen at the very beginning, it will just not spawn at all. So we need to make this spawn somehow. Uh, to do that, we can say if y... Uh, Greater equal to view y view zero plus view h view zero minus y speed instance destroy. So uh, this is the bottom of the screen minus the y speed times two actually so that it won't deactivate before you can destroy it. And yeah, uh, we are always using view one, so just put that there. So that was sort of a workaround, but it works fine. So as you can see, the platform is gone now. And now this one should also spawn. There we go.
And our gimmick is done. Yes. Uh, it's not very different from enemies. Uh, it's really similar. But I wanted to cover it anyway because... Uh, well, not everyone may know that it's actually very similar to enemies. And there are some differences, of course, as, as explained earlier. But this is it for now. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.